he compels all uh -huh. the small and the great uh -huh. the rich and the poor uh -huh. and free and the free men and the slaves uh -huh. to be given a mark uh -huh. on their right hand uh -huh. or on their foreheads uh -huh. signifying intelligence no uh -huh. signifying an allegiance uh -huh. to the beasts uh -huh. and that no one will be able to buy or uh -huh. sell except uh -huh. the one who has the mark uh -huh. either the name of the beasts uh -huh. or the number of his name bless you apostle hmm. now i want you to get this right this one, this revelation, one day, one day I will find time to explain the revelation 13 from verse 1 to the end. Because it is a, it is a, it is not to be about two, three series, I said that you have to go to the book of Daniel and all that, but I have quoted this one for you to know something. For you to know that where we are heading towards this coronavirus is not just, even if this coronavirus, even this coronavirus, even if, it comes to an end, it comes to growth, and the devil has not achieved his aim, the bigger one is on the way coming. I want to tell you the truth. Mm. What they are trying to do is to cause panic, and this is the reason why they put everyone indoors. Now everyone is indoors. Even the prime minister, the rich man, it is one are even being affected. So what are we going to do? If you are indoors, it is coming to a time that they will force you. If you don't take that vaccination, you can go to work because you will, be, you, you will infect others. If you don't take the vaccination, you can go to play because you will affect the people. You know, you will transmit the disease to the, to the people. You can't do this, you can't go here, you can't go there, you can't go there. You see, so that's number one. Number two, the main reason why I was revealing this secret to you about the online trade Within a short possible time, all the major shops are going to close down. The roadside shops, the street shops are going to close down. Everything will go internet. Or most of them will go internet. Now you will agree with me that if somebody wants to buy something from the net, you cannot use cash. You cannot use cash. You have to use what? Credit card or debit card to buy. Fine. In the same way, the devil is going to create something called global money or electronic money. And this electronic money, what is going to happen is that if you want to buy something from the internet, you want to buy a ticket, whatever you want to buy, you have to buy it uh, with please. this electronic uh, Somebody's money. radio is making noise, please. Somebody, is, you have to buy it with this electronic or global money. They may call it that electronic or global money. You have to buy with that. And how will you buy it? You can only do that if you have the chip, you have the mark. So if you don't have the mark, you can't buy anything from the internet. You can't buy your ticket because this time it, you can't just go to the counter and say, I'm buying a plane ticket. You have to do everything through the net. You have to check in through the net. Everything that you do, you have to do it through the net. You see? And so they are using this AI, this artificial uh, intelligence, which they have made it a chip, some past chip, and then put it in us. And the main reason why, I just want us to also read this one, so that it helps for me to bring it because of what the time is giving me. Now, let us read Revelation. Apostle, do me a favor. Okay. Let's read Revelation chapter 14, verse 9 to 11. 14 verse 9 to 11. Yeah. I read. Then another angel, uh -huh. a third one, followed them, uh -huh. saying with a loud voice, uh -huh. Whoever worshiped the beasts uh -huh. and his image uh -huh. and received the mark of the beasts. Uh -huh. on his forehead uh -huh. or on his hand uh -huh. he too will have to drink of the wine of the wrath of God uh -huh. mixed undiluted into the cup uh -huh. 
of his anger uh -huh. and he would torment it and he and will be tormented with fire uh -huh. and brimstone uh -huh. in the presence of the holy angels and in the uh -huh. presence of the lamb uh -huh. verse 11 yeah. and the smoke of the atonement ascend forever and ever uh -huh. and they have no rest day and night Mm. Those who worship the beast mm -hmm. and his image, mm -hmm. and whoever received the mark mm -hmm. of his name. Mm -hmm. Verse 12. Mm -hmm. I, 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 it's okay, bless you. Mm. Bless you. Now, mm. I want you to, I want the listener, please listen very carefully, the mem 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 members, those who are, who, are, who, are, who, are, who are hearing me. Yes, yeah. This passage, the Lord has won all his people that anyone who received the mark of the beast you will never have peace you will never have rest he will punish you he will torment you day and night why now let me tell you one thing this microchip when the microchip is implanted in you it has a radiation there is a signal in it and this signal is going to take all over your body your body and it's going to control they are going to control your mind because this implant it will monitor you wherever you go it will come to a time that when you want to go to the cash point you get to the cash point you don't have to say anything immediately you get to the cash point the machine will just call you mention your name the machine will just begin to talk to you why because of the implant because of the map of the beast they know where you are they know your activities they are controlling you so you have become uh, half human and half man i wish i go ahead okay 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 God did not make man half human and half robot. God did not make make man in a for, uh, for for machine to think for you. No, God made man to think, to reason in the same way as God reasoned. Mm. So if you allow yourself, if you receive this implant, you think that oh, I, I better I still do whatever I want to do. I don't know. Your mind will be controlled by these people through the AI your mind will be controlled and so it will come to a time that whether you like it or not you they will control your mind and you will worship the beast whatever the beast says you will follow because you are not of yourself your mind is being controlled and the, 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 the worst thing is that when your mind is being controlled it is like using a remote control to control your own TV you can turn it off anytime you want you can change the channel anytime you want so they can change your mind to whatever they want at any time they want they can send virus into your body at any time they want to kill you or to destroy your life so you see yourself as a human being but in the sight of god you have become a half human and half robot half machine because the machine is the one thinking for you and so you are no you are not part of god's uh, listen, uh, uh, you are not a part of the, the image of God. Mm. No, you are not an image of God. Therefore, you have actually denied the God who created you. You are no more part of him. So, you will receive the same punishment that the Lord is going to give to the devil. And so, I want to tell you and I want to open your eyes for you to know that where we are heading towards now, we are in the last days. But the Bible says in Revelation chapter 3, verse 10 to 12, he says something there. If Apostle can read Revelation it, chapter now. 12, chapter 10, chapter 3, chapter 3, verse 10 to 12. Verse 10 to 12. Yeah. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. <clears throat> then and then the heavens will vanish. Uh, 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 Revelation chapter 3. Oh, sorry. 
there is somebody in the kitchen disturbing very, 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 very much. I don't know that someone, either the person is at work or kitchen. If that person needs to stop it, please. Chapter 3. Verse 10 to 12. Verse 10 to 12. Uh -huh. Because you have kept the word uh -huh. of my endurance, uh -huh. my commander to preserve, uh -huh. I will keep you safe from uh -huh. the hour of trial. Uh -huh. That hour which is about to come, the old inhabitants, uh -huh. the world, uh -huh. to test those who live on the earth. Uh -huh. I am coming quickly. Uh -huh. Hold tight to uh -huh. what you have uh -huh. so that no one will take your uh -huh. crown yes. by leading you to renounce the faith. Uh -huh. Verse 12. Uh -huh. He who overcome the world through believing Jesus Christ uh -huh. is the son of God. Uh -huh. I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God. Uh -huh. He will most certainly never be put off of it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I will write on his on his I will write his name uh -huh. I will write on him the name of my God uh -huh. and the name of the holy city of my God. Uh -huh. The new Jerusalem uh -huh. which descends out of heaven from my God and from my own new name. Bless you. Now here the Lord through our true Apostle John made us understand that there is going to be a tribulation. This thing is coming to the whole world, not part of the world, the whole world. And it is going to test our faith and he's saying that if we are able to hold on to our faith and refuse this mark then he will also write his name on our forehead and he told us that immediately after this he said behold i come quickly so when this tribulation or when this comes we must know that christ is coming so i want you to know that the coming of christ is near that is the rapture will soon take place because we are in the last days and this is not the time for us to joke this is not for the time for us to relax this is not for the time for us to you know uh to to to, to do things which will actually defy our body this is the time for us to study the word of god and break the word of god sanctify ourselves purify our hearts and make sure that we will stand firm no matter what happens, no matter what uh, uh, comes our way. That we will stand firm, we will stand strong as believers. That we will not give up, we will not allow anybody to plant anything in our bodies. To become a half human and half robot. We are not, we are true children of God. We can't go to heaven with that. We are going to heaven fully, fully anointed and fully prepared as the temple of the living God. So, brethren, because of the time, as the uh, apostle has already said, we will have time because I'm even working things out to get some cameras to record it very pop uh, properly in series so that everyone can get a copy. You can send it to others to listen to it. And I thank God that I have a brother like uh, Apostle who loves the truth. And I know for sure that within the letter we have, uh, we, uh, I have said, he will encourage all of you to carry it out so that you will not allow yourself to be saved. Mm. Apostle, may the Lord God Almighty bless you and bless the church mm -hmm. and bless all those who are able to join us and may the Lord keep you. Thank you for the opportunity given me to explain this to you. God bless you. God bless you, Archbishop. <laughs>